look like you could use a vacation. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Come on down to the Yuck's Travel Agency. We'll show you the world for only... How much money do you have? Uh, ten bucks? Perfect! Get down here and we'll send you on your way. Hey, Poindexter! I'm going on vacation! Finish the lawn, will you? But... but... Oh. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Cat. Are you ready? Uh, sure am. But, but how is this so cheap? You're gonna fax me? You got it. Yeah, but, but, but where am I going? Whoa. Enjoy the trip. Welcome to Mongolia, my friend. Mongolia? Follow the trail through the jungle. The tour bus will be with you shortly. Uh, oh, well. I always wanted to see China. But how will I know where to... Huh? Someone's playing me the fool. <laughs> I do good job, no? <laughs> Did I do well, Master? You did perfectly. With Felix out of the way, the Earth will be ours. Master Cylinder, report. We're ready for phase two. Excellent. Once you have the Doom Machine completed, we can begin the invasion. Yes, I know. Don't be smug, Cylinder. Just tell me when the machine's done. <laughs> that fool! Without me, there wouldn't be an invasion. Did you say something? Oh, uh, no. Thought not. Idiot. Now, for our next quarry. Huh. That was a short vacation. Wanna see my computer? What kind is it? Well, it's not real big, but it has a 300 megahertz processor, 400 megabytes of RAM, and 1,000 gigabytes of hard drive space. Ah, for those of you who dwell in sunlight, what she just described is a really good computer. <laughs> Quite powerful, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, enjoy the show. Wanna see it? Oh, where is it? Well, will you look at that? Our little Poindexter's growing up. <laughs> Is there an uh, uh, airport nearby? Airport? Hmm. Poindexter has a fax machine? This is great. I've never met a girl that liked video games before. What did you say your name was? I didn't. You still like video games, right? You! Poindexter! Poindexter! Hmm. Excuse me! Looking for your nerdy little friend? He just went into space with a girl. Girl? Poindexter? Remember that ship? I'll bet that's where Poinsy is. Well, we got two geniuses on the show. If the professor comes home, tell him Poindexter and I went surfing. Yeah, okay. What do you want of me? Simple. You shall construct our doom machine. Here are the plans. You want me to build a machine to destroy my own planet? Yes, and it gets even better. The machine will require a human brain to run it. Your brain. <gasps> now get to work. Things are almost perfect. <laughs> My friends, I have a surprise for you. For being so loyal, I give you this. Get you 
for this master cylinder! <sighs> master cylinder, report! We're right on schedule. The Earth will be ours by dinner time. <sighs> well, well, well. It's always you, isn't it? Yep, and it always will be. <laughs> Not for long. A little rusty? Oh, I haven't had much practice lately this month. You haven't changed a bit, Cylinder. What's your point? You're still just a big tin can. Fool! You can't open me with... <laughs> Look, let's talk about this. Why don't we see what's cooking in there, huh? You're weird! <laughs> So disappointed. Ah, finished. There you are! Mr. Felix! Come on, we better get home before your uncle does. Hey, whoa, look at that donkey eating the dynamite. Is the professor back? Yeah, and he was so mad he left forever. <gasps> oh no! Uncle! Watch it! Whoa! <laughs> hey, I was just kidding. Will! Can opener indeed. Next time will be different. Very different. And now we will present the award for the most brilliant kid genius in the world. So, Poindexter, you nervous? Oh, not really, Mr. Felix. I win every year. And the winner is... Darwina Doubledog. See, every year it's the same thing. <laughs> this little honey won for her invention, the Mind Warp. All right. Now I will detonate the... Gentlemen, it's perfectly safe. Please. This is my invention, the Mind Warp. Here, I'll start it up. <laughs> Since this device allows my brain to be visible, you can see my thoughts too. Okay, everybody, see if you can guess what I'm thinking. Sterno. That. It's it's me, Davy Preston. I, I said it. Well, Davy Preston, you win. Uh, let me think. The stuffed frog. Yay! Yay! Come on, Dexter. You're still a genius. Come on. A former genius. What's the point? My brain is flaccid. But don't hit. Pointy. I bet your invention was just as brilliant as that old mind warp. Okay, let's see it, huh? No. Ah, oh, come on. No. Come on. Okay. Wow, now you're talking, Pointy. What do these do, shoot lasers? <laughs> no, my silly cat friend. These are my greatest invention. Rocket vision. They're tinted red for total rocket vision. And what else, you genius? What else? <laughs> you're kidding, right? They make you feel like you're living in disco land 24 hours a day. Yeah! Well, that, that's great. Wow, see, that's much better than that, that brain thing. You know what, Poindexter? Maybe you need a long nap, huh? You don't like my invention. Those glasses stink, don't they? They do! Say it! No, 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 no! I've peaked. It's over for me, Felix. I can't compete anymore! You just need a vacation, that's all. Pointy, come here! Let him go, Felix. If you love him, let him go. Why? Because it's more... It's, it's more, more dramatic, dramatic that, way. that way. Yes. Right. Uh, I don't write these gags, Felix. I you just, just say them. say them, I know. It's too good! Point Dexter is crushed, and I have the greatest invention known to man at my fingertips! Ha! Maybe I'll send my parents to school, or make myself president, or make cookies. Soon every living thing, every molecule will sing my name as their queen! Manny, come on, you know where he is. Just tell me, where is Poindexter? You won't like it, Felix. 
Hey, you know what? Maybe we should give your wife a call. All right, all right. He's over there. It's like pulling teeth. Here he is, Mr. Felix. Patient 3210. He hasn't said a word since he got here. Point Dexter! Pointy! Well, strange things have been happening since Darwina Doubledome took over the world and, uh... What? But I, I thought everybody knew that. Okay. Darwina Doubledome has taken over the world. As a result, strange things have been happening everywhere. Brussels sprouts have been outlawed. Gym teachers are exploding. Businessmen are walking like crabs. Everyone over 25 has changed their name to Kaka. Dogs are allowed to read the news. Dumb things, stupid things, things a child would make up, or a hack cartoon writer. Come on, Point Dexter, we need you. The world is being run by a crazy little girl. Come on, get those brain muscles moving. Oh, yeah, yeah, work them. Expand! Contract! Oh, boy. Oh, Pointy, your head looks like a raspberry. Well, wake up, kid. I'm all tapped out. I don't know what to do. Hey, uh, Pointy, I read in the papers that Darwina called you a lame brain. <laughs> but I guess you don't care. A lame brain? Well, that isn't very nice. Did she really say that? Mm, those exact words. Oh, dear. Well, I guess I'll have to destroy her. Mm, you've got no choice. Come on, let's find that stupid hat. Oh, the earth, how small it looks from up here. How inferior. It looks firm like a ripe kumquat. And since I didn't eat breakfast, it's lunchtime! Hey, lame brain, get that planet out of your mouth. <coughs> Boy, are you in for it now, sister? Felix, please. Sorry. That's all right. What would you say if I was to make you cower at my feet? I defy you to come up with a way to do it. How about taking your best friend and skinning him alive? That's a good one. <laughs> I want quiet. My victory is in this satchel. Here it comes. Ha-ha! I'm a dead cat. These are rocket vision, and whoever wears them, I control. Well, congratulations, stupid. It's a perfect scheme except for one thing. I don't need glasses. That's right, you don't. But he does. <laughs> no, oh, I feel like I'm in disco land. Ugh, I can't move. Oh, you were right, Pointy. Those glasses are dynamite. They're Genius! You never lost it. <laughs> I'm just lucky everyone hates disco so much. Uh, Pointy, I've got someone here who wants to apologize. I'm sorry, Poindexter. I caused you so much grief. I was just trying to get your attention. Tell him why. Tell him why. Well, I only did it because I like you. You're so smart. <laughs> I, 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 I... <laughs> Darwina, I... Hey, what's this button do? Don't push my buttons, Darwina. Yeah, boy, oh boy, I can't wait. Uh, let's see, yeah, uh, let me those fish. Old Creek Road. Uh, hey, I got one. Whoa! Uh -huh. Yeah, this one's a whopper! Uh, Roscoe? Yeah, am I good or what? <laughs> <laughs> that fish sure had a mean right hook. Mr. Roscoe? Yeah? You're the grand prize winner of the Name Your Rear End in 100 Words or Less contest. what I win? This brand new color TV! Wow! Hey, bring it in! Sign this. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Felix, uh, look at this. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, and look, it's got a built-in VCR. Um, well, how about our trip? Uh, gotta plug it in. Roscoe, Roscoe! <laughs> I can't wait to watch. Roscoe, TV's just a bunch of boring drivel designed to make zombies out of us. Huh? Oh, let's go live life instead of watching it, huh? <laughs> they threw in cable for free! You plug it in, I'll get the snacks. Let's see, uh, some chips, dip, pretzels, cookies, some healthy fruit, and candy nuts, popcorn, ice cream, hoo-hoo, stinkies, and sugar balls. Uh, oh, yeah. 
boy, this card must be broken. 1,507 calories, 798 calories, 2,150 calories, 3,968 calories. Anything else? I'm back! Morgan, what's wrong with you? What you watching? Please, Cody. Look at me, Morgan. Don't look at him, Morgan. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave her alone. Stop! Please! Okay. Roscoe! I've got cheese spray! <laughs> huh? Roscoe! Roscoe! Oh, gotcha! You're hiding something. I know it. What is it? What is it? Okay, you asked for it. Here's my little secret. <gasps> I knew it. You betrayed me. You never made time for me. Where is he? In here? No. Come out, coward. You dirty little rat. Rub him for surgery, stat. Wait, I, I, I feel fine. I'm fine. Try getting him mouth to mouth, doctor. I'm fine. Doctor, he's gone flatline. Clear. There, we gotta get his heart going. Oh, yeah? Rough night? Oh, you said it. How about some coffee? Precious moments we do with new dawn coffee. The ball's in place. Moose Moreno rears back. Wow! That field goal looks good. Welcome to the show that asks the question, how dumb can you get? Yeah! Let's welcome our challenger, Felix the Cat! Yay! And you know our returning champion, Roscoe! Yay! And now for the first question, what is two plus two? Four! Intelligent response, Felix. But not the one we're looking for. Ooh. Roscoe, how dumb can you get? Two plus two equals... Uh, 22? Yes! Yay! Now, dummy, just look at what you've won! This old sneaker! This lovely foil ball, some assembly required, and the grand prize, a pile of dirty diapers! Mm -hmm. Yes, Roscoe, you certainly answered the question, oh, how dumb oh, can oh, you yeah, get? You. Yes! Hey, pals. <laughs> Ashley, you, you look, look terrific. terrific. Look what I found today. Look what the cat dragged in. Or look what dragged in the cat. You're cute. No, you're cute. No, you're cute. We <laughs> Felix? You there? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Did that you, Felix? Let's get out of here! Don't... <laughs> Roscoe? Oh, who are you? A Sergeant Macho of Hard Body Cops. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. We can't do nothing when the power goes. Can we do something? Nope. Ow! Let's go, Roscoe! <laughs> get in a minute. <laughs> well, I am not staying here. I am not! I'm... Let's go, guys. You're the main dish on Chef Casserole's cooking show. I want to go home, Felix. Oh, me too, Roscoe. Uh, let me think a bit. I got it. Come on, Roscoe. There's a show. Uh, Mr. Gizmo? Yes? Can you invent a gizmo to get us out of TV land? Out of TV land? What a strange concept. What materials do you have? Perfect. He's completed my reverse teleport hydraulic transponding ejector. He's good. Begin countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, eject!
This is the life. The, yeah, real life. See, it beats TV any day. I'll say, that's the stupidest show I've ever seen. I'm going to school. 